welcome to Destiny Children's TV. It's awesome that you're with us today. We're going to have so much fun. We're continuing our series on Heroes of Faith and we're going to be doing crafts and puppets and so much more. It's going to be just awesome. But before we do all that, we're going to spend some time and we're going to worship Jesus. It's just so nice just to spend some time worshipping God and reminding ourselves of how amazing God is. So let's do that now. Get up, find a space and get ready to worship God today. Water you turned into wine Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you There's none like you Into the darkness you shine And out of the ashes we rise there's no one like you There's none like you And our God is greater Our God is stronger God, you are higher than any other Our God is healer Awesome in power Our God our God And if our God is for us Then who could ever stop us And if our God is with us Then what could stand against And if our God is for us Then who could ever stop us And if our God is with us then what could stand against? Our God is greater, our God is stronger God, you are higher than any other Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God our God. We all come in different shapes and sizes. Life is full. But one thing stays the same Jesus is on my side I don't need to be afraid I don't need to run and hide When I open my Bible It's clear as can be The God that I read about's with me And I'm gonna be a giant of faith
wanna be a giant of faith. By faith I can do anything. By faith I can do anything. By faith I can do anything. Buddy says, jump up and down. Buddy says, wave your arms in the air. Stop waving your arms in the air. <laughs> Buddy got you there. Buddy says, do star jumps. Buddy says, jump up and down. Wave your arms. <laughs> oh, buddy got you again there. If you're still in, you're doing really, really well. Buddy says, do dab. Dab. Ah, did we get you again? I think maybe we did. Well done if you're still in. Well done if you're still in. Buddy says, run on the spot. Buddy says, jump up and down. Buddy says, wave your arms in the air. Buddy says, do the Macarena. Buddy says, dab. Macarena. Ah, uh, did you get yeah? If you are still in right now, you have done really, really well. Big congratulations. That was Buddy Says. Today we're continuing with our series on heroes of faith from Hebrews chapter 11. And today we're going to learn about Noah and we hear about him in verse 7. The special thing about Noah was that even though he may never have seen the ocean or maybe even never saw rain, God asked him to build a boat. And Noah said yes. Noah obeyed God, even when people called him crazy. Can you imagine the names that people must have called him? They really were not kind. The whole of all of his neighbourhood, everybody who knew him, gave him a real hard time, I'm quite sure. But Noah obeyed God anyway. Let's hear a bit more about his story. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Hebrews 11. Noah! This is Noah. Noah is in the Hall of Fame because he listened to God. God created the whole universe. He created the sun and moon and stars, the sky above and the sea below. God created the animals and the people. Over time, the people on earth began to do bad things because they didn't listen to God. There was only one man in all the earth who was different because he listened to God. That man was Noah. So God told Noah to build an ark. He told Noah exactly how to build the ark, and it was to be the biggest boat ever built. Then God told Noah to fill the ark with two of every kind of animal. God told Noah to get into the ark with his family. So Noah obeyed and did everything exactly as God had told him. After seven days, it started to rain. The underground waters erupted from the earth and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights and then stopped. Many days later, Noah sent out a dove to find dry land, but the dove came back. After seven days, Noah sent out the dove again and it returned with a branch. After seven more days, Noah released the dove again. This time, it did not return. This made Noah think the dove found dry land where it could rest. Noah lifted the covering of the boat and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. Noah trusted in God's plan and God protected his family during the flood. 
Noah built an altar and sacrificed burnt offerings to the Lord. God was pleased with Noah's sacrifice and made a promise to Noah that he would never again destroy the earth and every living thing with a flood. God put a rainbow in the sky to remind Noah and all mankind of this promise. You can find the story of Noah in Genesis. It starts in chapter 6, but our verse today comes from chapter 7 and it's verse 5. It simply says, Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. Wouldn't it be great if people could say of you and me that we did all that God commanded us to do? It's brilliant when we obey God. We know that he only has good plans for us. And so we can by faith trust that what, we, what he asks us to do is what we should do. We can find all kinds of great instructions in our Bibles. How does God want us to obey him? Well, simple things like obeying our parents, obeying our teachers when we're back at school, doing the right thing. All those things are obeying God, not just obeying our parents, but it's obeying God too when we do that. What about when we show love to other people? What about when we are kind to someone in the playground who might look like they're all by themselves? That is obeying God. Jesus said that we need to love the Lord God with all our heart, all our soul, all our might, all our strength, and love our neighbour as ourselves. When we do those things, we are obeying God. God loves it when we obey him, and we can trust him that he will only ask us to do good things. So let you and me be people who, just like Noah, obey God, who do all that he asks us to do. We do that by finding out what it says in our Bibles, learning what, we, what God wants us to do. So this week, I want you to read your Bible. I want you to remind yourself of this story of Noah, but then also ask your mum and dad for some really good bits that you can read, some really good examples of how God wants us to live. There's some great stuff in Colossians. There's some great stuff in Ephesians. Honestly, there's great stuff in every book of the Bible. Ask your parents or whoever you live with to help you find some good stuff that God asks us to do. Have a great week, everybody. Let's pray before we go. Thank you, God, for the example of Noah. Thank you that he was brave and he did what you asked, even though it seemed crazy to all the people around him. Thank you that you only ever ask us to do good stuff and that we can trust you with our whole lives. Help us, Lord, to do everything that you ask of us, even when it seems tricky, even when other people might not understand. Help us still to do as Noah did and to obey you. Amen. We're going to go do crafts with Jackie. Are you ready? I know she's got something great for us today. Hello again everyone, I hope you've had another good week. Oh, time's just flying, isn't it? So today I'm going to show you how to make this crocodile or alligator, whichever you prefer to call it. And the fun part about this is it has a bit of a snap and a bit of a mouth. So I'll show you flat on the desk because you'll be able to see it better. <laughs> so here you go, here it is flat on the desk and you can see there you can make the mouth snap open as it swims along under the water. So what you're going to need for this is a piece of card, it does need slightly heavier paper, and then just um, some white paper and a piece of red, or as always, whatever colours you would like. And what I've done here is already just cut my piece of green card in half, so that's the first thing you need to do along the long line. Okay, so once you've done that, we need to take one, it doesn't matter which because they're both the same, and do a fold in it about a third of the way along. No hard and fast rule as to where. Just one little fold like that. Turn it over and fold it back the other way, leaving roughly an inch, an inch and a half. So that you get that shape there. And then with that piece there, just fold that forward as well. And that just creates just your little headpiece for your snapping bit. So once you've got those, you will see that one end is longer and one end shorter. So leave the short end because that's going to be our mouth. On the bottom of the longer end, pop some glue. And what we need to do is match the front two pieces doesn't matter if they're not quite exact but just roughly will do and then stick this piece down back here here we go all job done I've left this one quite short but that's okay and then just to create a better finish 
we're just going to round the ends off now we did this after we glued it so that the bottom of the mouth and the top of the mouth will be the same shape but if you want to do them separately that's quite all right and then on the back end piece again we're just going to round that off just so it looks more like he's swimming under the water that's all there we go okay so I've then got two white shapes that are sort of rounded on one end, but a rectangle otherwise. And these are for the top of his mouth, the roof of his mouth, and the bottom of his mouth. So they need to go into here. And I might just pop some glue on here as well. And just stick that down just so it sticks a bit better. And as you can see, these are now, because I didn't know how long it would be, these are a bit too long. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to pop these back together and the tongue piece that I cut earlier. Actually, that might be all right, that tongue piece. And I'm just going to cut a little bit off the straight edge just to shorten these so they fit properly. And let's have a look. Now they're good. So what we will do is glue them on. So... As I said, one's for the bottom of his mouth, so that goes in the bottom. And one for the top. Try and match it up, but if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. There we go. And then the red piece is, of course, his tongue. Very important. So on the bottom, stick that one in there. Then we need a marker pen. Doesn't really matter which one you use. And we just want to draw a few rough sort of alligatory teeth shapes. Crocodiles. I like to put some on the top as well because he will have teeth on both bits. And we also want to draw just some points because crocodiles and alligators are quite bumpy. So I'm just going to put them all over the place and then some on the front as well. Lovely. And last but not least, we have these rounded shapes, which are his eyes. So I'm going to stick them on this front piece here. And if they're a little bit big after you've done your folds, just cut them down. And that one there. And just give him some little eyeballs there. You'll do a much better job. And there we go. There we have it. There's our snapping crocodile or alligator. So you have a very, very, very good week, everybody. And don't forget to send your pictures and your videos into Pastor Steve so that we can all enjoy and see what you've been doing. Hey, thank you, Jackie. Those are wonderful crafts you did there. That's going to be such a great idea. And we look forward to seeing you guys sending it in via steve at destinychurch.co.uk. You can send your videos. You can send your pictures. You can also send them to us on WhatsApp or Messenger. If you don't have our details for that, just send the email through to steve at Destiny Church, and we can let you know how to do that. There are worksheets online every week with all kinds of fun stuff to do. There's always a memory verse as well. So do get involved with those, print them off, have fun with them. Yes, and remember you can subscribe to our channel. So hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get more great content from Destiny Wakefield. We hope you all have a brilliant week. Remember we want to please God, don't we? So let's be obedient to God, just like Noah was. Have a great week, you guys. See you soon. Bye.